Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today I'm going to tell you how to, to make um, the basic hello world uh, using Flash Develop to create a Flash program. Okay, And this is going to be pure action script. I've done stuff with Flex in the past, but this is going to be through Flex, the uh, Flex DK, but it's going to be written in pure action script. Here I already have an example that I've created. So, and then what I'll do is I'll go back out and I'll show you how to do this. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. <clears throat> and when I play this, you'll see what comes up. And there it is. There's Hello World. So it's working fine. So what I want to do is I want to go back out to... I'm going to first copy this. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to close. No, I'm going to go to view, and I'm just going to go to the start page because that's what you'd originally see. So here we have our start page, and I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is make a new project. So click on new project, and then I'm going to make an AS3 project. Okay, and that's all there really is to that AS3 project. I should name this. We'll name it Hello Project. And then we'll click OK. OK, and so I'm going to click on Hello Project. And uh, you can see the project is over here. Here's my source, my bin. This is where all of the, um, where the flash file is created once I click the test project. So here is our main, my main AS. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I'm actually going to come and close this one. This is the one I had previously done. So this is what you you start, with, okay? And so what you have is a function, and if the state initiates, then it adds event listener, and then it removes it once the stage is initiated. Now I can take that what I did there, and I can copy and paste it into there. And obviously, you can see I have some. That's redundant, so I can get rid of that. And so now I just want to kind of look at it. So the first thing I need to do is, of course, I need to make this. Okay. So I'm just going to go var old label we'll cut dot text field. <clears throat> and then we're going to enable uh, and put something in the text. So that would be label uh, dot text. And you can see there's uh, text stuff for Flash Develop. Flash Develop works really well. And we'll just say hello world. Or, ah, world. I just forgot my. Now, if we come up here, we'll see that it's added the text field there. So that's there. And I can get rid of that. Because remember, I'm making this new. Now, what comes up next is the formatting. So you have to create a var, a var, and I just named it format, and then text format, new text format. Uh, I did the font, Georgia, the color, the size, tell it to underline it. And then what you have to do is you have to take your label, your text field, and then you have to set the text format with format. And then you can authorize, but I don't know that this... Let's get rid of that. Actually, let's not get rid of that. The sharpness is 400 because that gets rid of the jaggedy lines, and then you want anti-alias because you have to have that set chance in order to be able to set the sharpness yourself. So then I gave it an X of 100, a Y of 100, and then finally we add it to the stage. Of course, it should be old now, so we should change these new labels to old label. OK. 
Okay. And then we can save that. And everything looks good here. But don't forget, you have to set these fonts, this formatting text field before you can add it to the stage. Okay, right now it's going to render as white on black. Okay, so let's give this a test. And we'll see what happens. Oops, I got a problem here. Ah, text format, yes. What I have to do here is because I copied and pasted it, it doesn't pick it up. If you type it in, it will. Oops, let's move this over. So we want to just go var format one text. Nope. Text format equals new text format. Okay, and then what will happen is it will put it up here. Uh, let me show you. It automatically adds them here when they're needed. And since now that it's been put up there, I can actually just come back down here and delete this one. And then that should still be there. And excellent, it is. So it should work. So now I'm going to quick save it. So save. And then we come here to test project it. New label, let's see, I forgot some new labels here. Uh, oh, there we go. Duh. And, oh. That's because I have this set to white. So let's just change that to black. So all zeros would be black. And let's try it again. And there it is. Hello world. So that's very simple hello world and develop using pure action script. My name is Michael Langdon and I'm the learning engineer. I'll be making more more videos of using pure action script in Flash Develop. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day.